Thank you, Mr. Wiggins. Come back and visit us very soon. Oh, so much to do. Pet Street opening and... Oh. But first, I have to get the store's inventory done. Good afternoon. Welcome to... Oh, it's just you. Wow, quite a hello. Well, I have your mail. Would you mind going through it, dear? Bill, 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 Bill. Something from the four songbirds. Bill. What did you just say? Bill. No, before that. I can't believe it! The four songbirds are getting together for a reunion! Uh, four songbirds to the what now? The four songbirds, my old college singing quartet. You were in a quartet in college? Oh, yes, and we were very, very good. We were even going to record an album. But my kung fu quilting championship came first, so we never got the chance. And the group broke up after graduation. Mrs. Twombly, a singer? <gasps> She's just full of surprises. Uh, a reunion? How exciting! Yes, and apparently we aren't just going to reminisce about old times. We're going to see if we still have that special sauce that made us so popular back in the day. Oh, no. What's the matter, Mrs. Twombly? Aren't you excited to see the other songbirds? Of course I am, Blythe, but with Pet Street about to open and not to mention the shop's inventory that needs to get done, oh, there's just no way I can attend. Good afternoon, Littlest Pet Shop. How may I help you? You know, Zoe, maybe there is a way Mrs. Twombly can beat that reunion without ever having to leave Littlest Pet Shop. You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. of Mrs. T's old singing group last night and arranged for their reunion to happen on my laptop via I See Your Face video chat. If it all goes well, Mrs. T might finally get a shot to record with her group after all. The call is happening in a few hours. I can't wait to tell her the good news. What's the four songbirds? Mrs. Twombly's college singing quartet. Mrs. T had a... Moose! A moose? No, Vinny, not a moose. A singing quartet. Well, she may not have had a moose in college, but she definitely has one now. Mrs. Twombly, I have something major to tell you. As do I, Blythe. Meet Fleur Le Moose. She'll be staying with us today while her enclosure at the Downtown City Conservation Center is being cleaned. Now let's assure that Fleur has a great stay at LPS. Will do, Mrs. Twombly, but I want it to excellent. Now I have to get back to my inventory. Stay calm, oui? Stay calm. Don't worry, Fleur. The pets will make you feel right at home. I I've got to go deliver some great news to Mrs. Twombly. Don't worry, Fleur. You're going to love it here. I'll show you around and get you settled. Mrs. T, I have great news. Oh, Blythe, I would love to chat, but I'm even busier than a beaver. Well, how would you like to go to that songbird reunion after all? Oh, Blythe, you know I can't do that. But yes, you can, thanks to my laptop. I talked to the other songbirds, and they agreed to do the reunion with you via video chat on I See Your Face. Oh, Blythe, this is marvelous news. I can finally make up for ruining the group's big break. But you know, there's one songbird who never forgave me for what happened back then. We haven't spoken since the group broke up. Really? Martha Jan and Cindy. She was without question our best singer. Martha always had perfect pitch. Our group was always about Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha. I'm certain she will scrutinize every note I sing. So I'm really going to need to prepare. Oh, it's been years since I've busted out a tune. Oh, but who am I kidding? I don't have time for any of this. I'm up to my eyeballs in inventory. Well... I could do that for you. <gasps> would you, Blythe? Oh, that would be wonderful. 
<laughs> no problem, Mrs. T. Now go get those pipes tuned up. <sighs> Way to go, boy. Now, time to count aquarium treasure chests. Fleur, why don't you have a seat here? This is the most comfortable seat in the entire camp. Merci, Penny Ling. <laughs> oh. Oh. Guessing we picked the wrong day to have a mobile making contest. It is just for a few hours that I am here, yes? <laughs> oh, haha. -ha. Sometimes I hum to calm my nerves. That was humming, was it? Uh, Fleur, you do whatever you need to make yourself feel more comfortable. Okay, then. <laughs> what is that sound? It sounds like a jet engine being dragged behind a dump truck covered in bubble wrap. <laughs> wow. Mrs. T sure got her pipes back pretty quick. Impressive. Bly, what is that racket? Huh? Mrs. T, how can you be talking and singing at the same time? Now that's talent. No, don't you hear that? It sounds like a trash can shot out of a cannon into a fireworks factory. Really? It sounds really good to me. Let me go check it out. <laughs> Careful, Blythe, and then she's gonna explode! What is everyone getting so worked up about? It's a little loud, but she has a pretty voice. Pretty? <laughs> it sounds like a car horn in a blender being dropped into a dumpster filled with symbols! Huh. Maybe I don't hear her as a moose because I'm a quarter Canadian. Uh, Fleur, are you okay? Oh, no, 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 Mademoiselle Blythe. I am very nervous. And when I get nervous, I sing, you know? We know! We know! There is nothing I can do. I am so nervous! Me, 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 me. No! This is never going to work. Oh, what if the songbirds hear this racket and think that sound's coming from me? Me, 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 moo, moo, moo. <gasps> Those moose calls are actually influencing my own sound. <laughs> if the other ladies hear this, I'm doomed. Maybe she just needs a little fresh air to settle her nerves. Yeah, outside is good. Right, good thinking, Russell. Fleur? We're gonna take a trip outside. How does that sound? That sounds lovely. Okay then, let's take this concert outside. Oh, it's a miracle. What? Did you say something? Uh, you're yelling, Minx. Am I? Yeah, a little bit. No thanks, Pepper! I already ate breakfast! <laughs> Good afternoon, Littlest Pet Shop. Blythe's feet. Uh, yes, uh, the noise in the alley? No, no, I can assure you it's not a bank safe being crushed in a trash compactor. Yes, we will take care of it. That can't be good. I'd better go get Fleur out of the alley. We're going back inside, back inside! I don't know what that's all about, Fleur. I think you have a great voice. You mean it, eh? Totally. But maybe you could sing a little softer. Oh, yes? Uh, uh, like this? This is how we sing softly! I am sorry, Blythe. I only have one volume setting when I am nervous. Singing is the only thing that helps calm me. That and my favorite stick. Uh, what was that? My favorite stick. Your favorite stick. That's it. But it is back in my enclosure at the conservation center, you know? Then we'll just have to go and get it. Pets, come out. Is she done singing? So, what does this stick look like? It's brown, medium length, 
Not at the top? You'll know it when you see it. Well, I have to finish doing the shop's inventory before Mrs. Twombly blows a gasket. So one of you will have to go fetch Fleur's stick at the conservation center. We will do it, Blake! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get away from this noise fast enough. What? We are always up for a new adventure, Blythe. Right, what he said. Good save, buddy. Great. And I'll need the rest of you to keep Flora calm so Mrs. T can keep practicing her singing uninterrupted. Okay, this looks like the right place. Now let's find that special stick. Uh, Minnie, it would appear that this pen is covered in sticks. Whoa, who knew that a moose enclosure was like 95% sticks? <sighs> okay, that takes care of pet bulls. Now, chew toys. Let's start with the squeaky family. I am scared, so very, very scared. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Blake! That sound, I can't hear myself sing. There you go, Mrs. Twombly. Noise canceling headphones. Will these work for you? Yep, think they will. Me, 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 me. <sighs> On to the next crisis. <sighs> Such a sweet voice. You have got to be kidding. I know. <laughs> Crazy dominant Canadian jeans. Fleur, I've got a game for you to try. It's called. The quiet game. Games are fun. Well, this one's really fun. The rules are you must be as quiet as you can for as long as you can. The first one who's not quiet loses. Is everybody ready? <laughs> okay, everyone. And go. Well, let's try and match Fleur's description. Let's see. Brown, medium length, not at the top. Oh, dear. All of these seem to match the description. Of course they do. They're sticks. <laughs> Vinny, I think I found it. This stick just seems more distinguished and regal than the others. It has to be Fleur's. Plus, it says Fleur's stick on the side. Yeah, I don't know. I'd still take it, just in case. So, where do you think you're going with this stick game? I am really jamming on this inventory. Me, 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 me. And Mrs. Twombly is getting in some much needed vocal exercise. Uh oh. Fleur just lost the quiet game. I'd better go see what's up. Oh no! That can't be the call. It's early! Blythe, your thingamabob is pajingly. What's that mean? It's the songbirds calling in, but they're early. Uh... Oh dear. Okay, big fella, just give us the stick and we'll be on our way. We very much just need to give it to the girl moose so she will stop singing. Oh, we the girl moose. Oh, where is she? I love her singing. My name's Amy Jambon, and I sing too, you know. <laughs> I also dance. Hey, what do you know? He's a hoofer. Uh, want to hear me sing, eh? No, no, we want to be surprised when we see your uh, one moose show. Hmm. So, Hammy, what uh, brings you to this enclosure? The singing girl moose. I have been listening to her sweet voice for months, but I've been too scared to jump the fence to introduce myself. And when I finally do, who do I find? You do instead. Will she be back soon? <laughs> oh, no matter. Give me more time to rehearse, eh? This is quite a pickle, isn't it, Blythe? 
Don't worry, Mrs. Twombly. I have an idea. Just follow my lead. Greetings, songbirds! Anna! <laughs> so glad we could make this call happen, and we can't wait to... Oh, well, I'll be. It looks like their connection froze. <laughs> Typical. Let's disconnect and try again. Oh, if I can remember how to do it. Where are those instructions? <laughs> Where are my glasses? Oof, that was close. Quick thinking, dear. <laughs> yeah, that bought us a little time. I see what you mean about Martha. Judgy. Oh, no, not again. Uh, okay, hold tight, Mrs. T. I might have another way to muffle this problem long enough for the solve to get here. Okay, pets, I need your help. We need to push Floor towards the fire hydrant slide. Excuse me? Come on. That should hold her until Vinny and Sunil can get back with her stick. Keep an eye on her pets. I have to get back to Mrs. Twombly. Jazz moves. Oh, thank you. You know, I was just thinking, maybe with that girl whose singing skills and my dancing, we could put together some kind of a moose act. No? Absolutely not. Ow! Of course you should. <laughs> Stick, s'il vous plaît. Mais non. I think I should deliver this stick to her myself. That way we could talk about putting together a musical act. <laughs> a musical act. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> it is funny, no? No. <clears throat> hey, I was agreeing with him. Yes, of course you can. And how are we planning on getting him in the hamster tubes? Hamster tubes? <laughs> Where we're going, we won't need no hamster tubes. Oh, dear. Oh, Blythe, thank goodness you're back. The songbirds are calling again. What do we do? Leave it to me, Mrs. Twombly. Hello, songbirds. Sorry about last time. Blythe called. Now, can we get things started? Oh, you're cutting out. Oh, must be a bad connection. We'll call you back. <sighs> okay, that buys us a few more minutes until Martha gets annoyed enough to call us back on her own. Oh, oh, it is kind of dusty in here. I, I think I'm going to. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Another moose? Oh. Oh, my special stick! <gasps> I can't believe it. It worked! Hear that, Minka? Quiet! Oh no, thanks! I told you I already had breakfast! Uh-oh. I need to get Mrs. Twombly on that call with the songbirds right away. Boys, do you want to explain the moose? Eh, no, not really. Ah! He's been like this all day! Hello, songbirds. We were just about to call you. Are we done with the technical difficulties? It would appear that we are. Fine. So, Anna, it's time to show your stuff. <laughs> Why does she not sing, eh? She only sings when she's nervous. Now that she has her special stick, she's not nervous anymore. No, I want to hear her beautiful voice. I think she will be perfect for my musical act. Bye, guys. 
good harmonizing, Anna. Oh, yes, we sounded like the four songbirds of old. Most of us, anyway. Anna, wherever did you find that interesting sound? Well, I, uh... It's a pre-recorded track that Mrs. Twombly and I have been working on. <laughs> well, we love it. <gasps> Maybe it's time we get together and finally record that album. But first, we need to get Martha some vocal coaching. Her pitch is definitely off. I deserve that. Oh, thank you so much, Blythe. That was fun! <laughs> we sing terrific together. We do, eh? So, does that mean we have a musical act in the making? Definitely, eh? Did you see those dance moves? Very impressive, eh? <laughs> How do I answer that? Don't. Well, if we're a team, then we should start rehearsals right now, no? Yeah! Yeah!